Hi guys, welcome to another testing video. Today we're gonna to discuss, uh, it's an EVA foam we sell mostly locally. Through the middle we set four millimeter mono with little inserts in the end. A problem has been to try and acquire the correct size crimp for this four millimeter mono. They're no longer available. I need to buy 20,000 if I need to place an order with a manufacturing company to make it viable for them to make them. We don't need 20,000. We don't sell that many of these floats. So I've designed my own crimp. This is a stainless steel tube I formed into a crimp. It's the smallest one we can try and I want to test it in a smaller state and see which is now stronger. If that's stronger, we're good to go. If not, I'll keep increasing the length of that crimp to see if it can match this. Let's see how strong it is. Okay, set up, same as always, load cell, scale, in kgs, safety first. Let's stretch that out. Remember the float lines break at about 100, 100, 100 and plenty kilos. <laughs> so this has just got to exceed that. I'm hoping 200 will be plenty good enough. There she takes up the strain. Hundred and fifty, still looking good. That's more than enough. Remember the float is only about five or six liters. So it only needs at the most five or six kilos to pull it under. So this is in case you tie the other into a boat and have to haul on your gun that might be fouled on the bottom. Your float won't break. That stainless crimp is holding extremely well. There we go, over 200. I'd say that crimp is more than adequate. No need to make them bigger. Wow, it's getting hard to push now. Uh, one of them is starting to slide. Looks like the stainless steel side, but there we're going, ne nearly 300 kgs. Oh, broke at 300. The stainless side broke. I'm happy with that. That was a rough edged one. We didn't tumble it. Like these are flared at the ends. So, I'm impressed with that, 300 kgs, way more than adequate. I'll be making them that length. We'll tweak it slightly to flare the ends and uh, that's a good product. Hi guys, another day, round two of testing stainless steel crimps. Uh, we've set them up slightly longer this time. The last break, the crimp actually cut into the mono. So this time around, we've had the ends much more flared and we'll see how this goes and uh, if need be, we'll then adjust the crimper itself. So let's see how this one goes. Safety first. The last one was just over 300 kgs. Today, let's see what we get. Slipping already. It's not biting in. That's a failure. Only about 50 kgs. So my lengthening of the crimp didn't help flaring the ends, but I need to now adjust the crimp to crimp it lower. Stand by for third round. Hi guys, test three now. We've modified the crimp, shortened it slightly. Um, the very first one that went at 300 kilos, the edges were quite sharp and cut into the mono. We don't really want it to cut into the mono. I'd rather just use compression. If it cuts in over time, it could fatigue more and damage that zone. So the one before that failed, we didn't compress it sufficiently. I'm modifying the tools to slowly compress more and more. So this is test three on the crimps that don't have sharp edges. Let's see how this one goes. Theory, it should easily go above the previous that slipped. That was 50 something. There, we've just exceeded it. 
nothing slipping yet. Well over what the line on your spear would fail at. Still nothing moving. Just a little slippage, there we go. So we're gonna go back to the tool and open them up a tad more to allow grade to crimp. There's over 200 anyway. I think it has cut in and lodged itself better, so we're still getting close to what we did before. Let's see there, yeah, we'll probably get to 300 anyway. But I am still gonna tweak it some more. There we go. Hi guys, back again. This is prototype four now. And we think we've dialed it in. The jigs were all modified. I'm creating greater pressures. And uh, let's see how it goes. Where we're over a hundred, nothing moving. We got to about 200 and something last time when it just started to slide and then locked up. There we are, 200. More than adequate there. Ah, there she slipped. I don't want to tweak them too much because it can cut into the mono. Obviously, each piece of mono is slight, has slight variables, but anything over 200 is way more than we need. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, they are slipping, but at really high pressures. There's no way you're gonna do that on your float. And it's only a seven litre float, as we mentioned in the beginning of this episode. So there you have it. The stainless steel crimp, very different to brass. Definitely got good holding power. Obviously, we shouldn't have any corrosion problem. Not that we have anything with the brass crimps. Hope you enjoyed that test video. Stand by for the next.